This video is brought to you by LearnCodeOnline.in. Visit our website or download our apps. Hey there everyone, Hitesh here back again with another video and in this video we are touching up the great subject of what is the difference between a library and framework. Yes, you might have already touched that subject by looking up the definition of both library as well as in the framework. But those definitions are not at all able to give you the whole perspective and is not able to make you understand what actually the individual subject means. And also this is a common topic being asked in variety of interviews as well, the programming interviews as well. So it's going to be really helpful that you thoroughly understand what is the difference between a library and framework. And trust me, after watching this video, you won't be searching for this topic any more further. So let's get started. So take me away. Now let me tell you what the issue is. The issue is many times people try to just say understand what is library and then try to understand what is framework and you'll get both the answers there. But it is not perfectly a correct thing. You need to understand both of the things side by side. Now if you look out into the any definitions or Wikipedia or something like that you will find a quite a common definition which is a collection of library is a framework which can be true or cannot be always true. So you need to understand both side by side. Now I'm going to give you two examples here. The second example will make much more sense. But in order to understand that second example, let's move on to first example first. So library and framework, both of them are dependent on the rule. One is your home and another one is just like your school or your university. So I'm, I'm making an analogy here that your school is your framework and your home is just like your library, okay? So here is my point. When you have less number of rules, it is more likely that it is going to be possibly a library. And when there are more number of rules, then it, there are high chances that it's going to be a framework. For example, in your home, you can just throw off your t-shirts wherever you like and you can just place your bag wherever you like. But when you go to school or university, there are fixed places where you put your bag, there are fixed places most of the time that where you're going to be sitting up, your uh, marker for your teacher has a fixed place that it's going to be there. There are some options that you can change them like here or there a little bit, but it's always going to be closer to the teacher. So that's more like you are bounded by more rules. While on the other hand, at home, there are less number of rules. Yes, you may like to follow some rules, but most of them are built by you. So library is moreover like your home. It's like whatever I want to do, I'm going to be doing it. And similarly on a framework is more bounded by the rules that you are only allowed to do certain kind of things. Yes, you can go ahead and change all of them, but it takes time and all these such things. Now let's move on to the second example. This second example is moreover code oriented and the people who are associated with little bit kind of the code, even like uh, simple JavaScript or jQuery will be able to understand it much more better. Now in a simple library, library is simply a collection of codes, obviously. So some functions or some like document object model or all these such things are being packed together and is being used over and over. That's basically your library is. Now try to understand in this manner. Now, whenever you are making a call to any library, that is most likely to be a library. So whenever you have the power to call the code whenever you like, that is simply a library. On the other hand, in the framework, actually your framework calls your code and further your code can call to a library, maybe. But notice the difference here. In the library, you are making a call to library. But in the framework, framework is actually calling to your code. So just understand in this manner, I'll take another very beautiful example, which is a difference between jQuery and uh, simply Django, Let, or there are many other frameworks as well. So in both of these things, whenever you want to make a call to a jQuery library, you can make it. On the other hand, in the Django, there are more restrictive environment. For example, your templates folder should always be named as templates. Can we change it? Yes, of course, but it requires digging up into the settings files, digging up into the framework. So it's most likely that you're going to be calling up your templates folder always as templates because that's what framework is telling you to do. So in, if somebody next time asks you, it's all about the rules. When we have more freedom, that means it's more chances that it's going to be a library. When there are more restrictive rules, then there are going to be great chances that it's going to be a framework. And again, who is calling to whom is a great way of getting the sense that what it is. Is it a library or is it a framework? 
If you want to get an example always in your head, just remember jQuery and Django or maybe Ruby on Rails or maybe any other such kind of framework. jQuery is a library and on the other hand, your Django is a framework. So there you go. Finally, always remember who is calling whom and you'll always get the answer that is it a library or framework. And from now onwards, you can read those definitions, keep that mind, but now you know absolutely that I can understand the subject. No matter if I remember the definition or not, but I do understand the subject and that is going to be most important part. So that's it for this video. In case you have enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. In case you are enjoying it even more, do share it. Also, if you are new at this channel, go ahead, hit that subscribe button. We post amazing stuff all about tech and programming stuff. So go ahead, hit that subscribe button and I'll surely catch you up in the next video. I